what do I have that is the most sound bit of dimensional information about Ford Orange? What can I put my hands on and say, this was made by someone who was there? The archaeology that Paul had done was obviously extremely helpful. But then there were um, written accounts of the fort. In some cases, even dimensions were given. And the best evidence was the survey that was made by Romer. It is late 1690s. The Dutch are gone. The Dutch have been gone a long time. But the fort is still there because Romer draws the fort. And Romer is a professional surveyor. So Romer is using instruments um, to lay out the plan of the city, to locate structures, but it's all done precisely. So you can take the Romer plan today, just as he drew it all those centuries ago, and you can lay it on top of Albany today and it matches up. That's how good it is. So I thought, okay, I have this document, it's accurate, and there is a footprint of the site of Fort Orange. There's a scale on his plans, so I can read off the dimensions of the fort. As the years passed and I had been over this material again and again and again, I started to develop my own thoughts about what this place might have been. My idea is more uh, rooted in the uh, architectural information that I could uh, glean from the data. But I try not to lean too heavily on a single source. What I'm looking for is cooperation. I'm looking for two or more people who have looked at the same subject, maybe even over time. They could, it could be in the same era, or they could be separated by years. And I can see that these two people are looking at the same thing. They're looking at the same structure, and they're depicting it in very similar ways. Now that tells me that's probably what was there.